Hello my dear students, today we are in lecture number 19. of chapter 2 of electrostatics. My dear student, in uh, last lecture, lecture 18, we have discussed about the electric potential energy gradient. Uh, I am giving you one question for the classwork and then I will start today about the uh, mathematical derivation of electric potential due to point charge. Okay, my dear student, suppose uh, this is a question, this is your classwork, kindly go to the last lecture, lecture number 19, you will find how to solve this question if you have not seen that video lecture. Potential energy which is the function of a space x, y, z is given as hmm, suppose a constant positive constant x square y by z okay and the question is to find the force okay so my dear students this is your class one today we will start our lecture with the electric potential energy and potential due to point charge okay due to point charge okay my dear student uh, one concept in last class we have studied if you remember or you can go back to see that video lecture it was work done or the elemental work done dw that we have studied already f dot d r is the vector quantity okay and we will have the total amount of work done from initial to final point it is the limit this one we know okay suppose a point charge we are having either point charge plus q and from this plus q actually we are bringing a test charge from infinity okay from infinity we want to find out electric potential energy when this charge suppose it is uh, q okay this is the small q when it is r distance from this charge r distance when this charge is moving from infinity it is moving from infinity to a particular point take an elementary length dr okay elementary length dr since we are coming from this side and using the vector this dr will be considered with the minus r cap okay my dear student here it is the positive charge this charge is positive q and this is the plus q you are moving this positive charge in this direction that's why you are taking this dr elementary distance as minus sign since this is our positive direction and we are moving in this direction minus but here the force on this charge will be in which direction in upward direction so force will be of f unit vector r cap positive and dw we will write here f r cap dot dr minus r cap with proper limit we will get the mathematical expression 
here from where we have to move from infinity initial point is infinity at infinity the electric potential and electric potential energy both zero remember my dear student even if you will try to recall by the definition if it is the amount of work done by bringing a test charge from infinity it means if you are moving from infinity then you are doing some work it means at infinity what will be the amount of work at infinity the work at infinity the work zero means work is to be start from infinity it means at infinity it is zero so potential at infinity remember it is zero and potential energy and potential at infinity must be zero this is the assumption you have to remember okay my dear students directly that uh, assumption will be used as we are using over here at infinity potential energy will be that is the amount of work done will be zero and we have to find at distance r at distance r the work done will be potential energy so dw integrated for w and u minus zero it will be u it is equal f the force between these two charges using coulomb's law we can write in the k q1 q2 by r square into dr and we are using minus sign y r dot r1 but here minus we are taking out from infinity to r okay i don't think so this is a very difficult you can do calculation by yourself a student okay hmm. now u it is minus k q q is constant taken out integration of 1 by r square dr infinity to r minus k q q okay integration of 1 by r square will be minus 1 by r from infinity to r okay so minus k q q minus 1 by r and minus minus plus 1 by infinity it will be 0 minus minus plus k q q by r this is the potential energy okay so this is the simple derivation of potential energy but the remarkable thing is remember if you have to write in note point in the system if this is the charge in the system you are having two charges okay one it is q1 one and another it is q2 separated by distance r then potential energy between these two charges one and two you are writing here the k q1 q2 by r remember if this system having the charge in this way minus q1 and another is plus q2 with the same distance then you will write the potential energy 1 2 as k minus q1 q2 by r now here potential energy you have to write with the proper sign if both are negative then you will write negative negative if one negative positive you are writing negative positive if this is positive and negative then you will write this positive and this negative now if you are uh, raising a question sir if this potential energy and work done both are the scalar quantity why we are taking here the negative sign actually this negative sign students we are getting mathematically you can see as we move from infinity to r we got a unit vector r cap there were r cap if this is negative and positive the direction of force will be changed and due to that change in direction we will get a sign that's why we are getting here the positive or negative but there is no change in magnitude of potential energy remember magnitude is not going to be changed magnitude, magnitude is the same it is only giving the concept whether the here the amount of energy whether the in system we are having the two charges a positive or a negative nothing else now students we will uh, correlate this potential energy with potential also as we have been studied so we'll have the derivation of potential mathematical expression of the potential okay this is also very important and we should study 
back to back after this potential energy that would be the easy expression of potential electric potential remember okay electric potential we used to represent that potential by v and we know that the potential is nothing but the potential energy per unit charge now we have to decide that at which point we want to find out the potential if you want to find out the potential suppose this was the charge plus q at r distance we bring a charge from infinity this is the infinity suppose and we are bringing this charge from infinity we have to find potential at this point okay for this point then you are finding potential of which charge capital q which charge capital q at which point this point it means you have to divide the potential energy by this charge so it will be q i hope you are getting potential of this charge at this point that is at distance r you can also write at v r it is k potential energy k q q divided by r and divided by q so this will be cancelled out and you will have the potential at distance r as k q by r okay my dear student so this is the mathematical expression for the potential electric potential now it is also mandatory to correlate the potential if you uh, you have written the potential energy for the positive and negative charge then you should raise the question sir uh, can we write the potential also with the positive and negative sign then answer will be yes of course you have to represent if it is positive charge over here you are finding potential at this point p at distance r then potential at p will be plus k q by r if you are having minus q charge and you have to find potential at point p at distance r then you will write vp as minus k q by r okay student so this is the very important kindly make your notes for this one now we will solve few uh, simple question my dear student the very simple question and then we will move for the another concept that you have to face in your board examination okay my dear students can you note down i am rubbing this one okay so uh, the very simple question for the potential and as a student you have studied the uh, superposition principle or superposition principle of force and field in same way you will study the superposition of potential electric potential okay it means you can find the net potential you can find the net potential at a point due to number of charges the simple thing here is that in field and electrostatic force you have calculated the electrostatic a uh, force and field that is the vector quantity and it was very difficult to uh, break the component not actually difficult but uh, uh, a little bit lengthy to break the component but here in potential and potential energy this is the very simple you don't have to break the component directly you can find the answer for example if i'm giving you uh, so a portion principle i'm telling you as we have been studied the net potential at any point can be written as or can be represented as the sum of potential due to individual charges okay you don't have to write the vector sum because it is scalar quantity suppose the two charges you're having the two charges q1 minus q2 r you have to find the net potential at p v net at p is equals to what okay my dear student the very simple you can write here the v net is equals to plus it is the positive charge k q1 by how much distance it is r now this is negative so minus 
K Q2 divided by the distance is 2R. This is 2R. Joule per kilo is the volt. Okay. Or you can also write the joule per coulomb. This is the answer. The very simple, na? No? Okay. Another question. You have to find potential due to this system. Okay, equilateral triangle. You have to find potential at this point. Minus five micro coulomb. And this is minus 10 micro coulomb. Okay, my dear students, you have to find the potential at point O, net potential, with proper calculation. One. Second question. Again, this is the equilateral triangle. Now the property of equilateral triangle is students you know that if you will draw a perpendicular drop over here the both the distance will be same i hope you are well aware if i'll put a perpendicular drop it will be equal now if it is plus 5 micro coulomb and minus 5 micro coulomb what will be the potential at point O and you will find the net potential since both the separations are same so the potential will be of equal magnitude but opposite in nature and the net potential will be zero you can see if distance this distance is because I'm not giving you the value of this R whether this is in angstrom or uh, micron okay so this could be very small and this charge is already very small so could you consider this system as a dipole yes if this is dipole then what type of this point will be yes this is nothing but the equatorial point equatorial point and equatorial point at equatorial point you are getting the net potential zero okay student so after few uh, questions or might be in next lecture we will study the potential due to dipole and we'll get the potential at equatorial point due to dipole will be zero okay my dear students okay now the next question in this uh, similar way you will find number of questions to find the electric potential or the potential energy okay student uh, the one more simple question i'm giving you find net potential at o one this is for your practice don't be tense minus q plus q minus 3q plus q and this distance is 2r you have to find potential at o this is the square and the second one equilateral triangle but you have to find potential at center minus q plus q and minus q you have to find potential at o which is center and this is also at center okay now few numerical of electrostatic potential energy my dear student okay as we know that the uh, formula of potential energy is u q1 k q1 q2 by r and you have to use this formula with proper sign if the charge is positive then you have to use here positive if negative it should be negative okay so the first example if you are having two charges as 2 coulomb and minus 2 coulomb this is the very big charge at distance 1 meter what will be the potential energy so the potential energy between these two charges 
that is for this system potential energy we will find of the system remember in this system the total energy is stored it is the potential energy so it is the potential energy k q1 q2 it is the 2 times 2 it is the 2 coulomb into minus 2 coulomb divided by 1 square it is 1 so the 4 k joule minus 4 k joule this is the answer now the one thing student as you will move this charge towards the minus 2 coulomb what will be the amount of work done whether it will decrease or increase try to just analyze by yourself if you will pull this 2 coulomb charge towards this negative two column what will be the potential energy of the system whether it will increase or decrease this is my question okay try to analyze by yourself and of course give your answer in comment or just give your answer on the group okay student now the next one uh, Student, uh, we are going to study over here the energy for association or dissociation or the work work done to associate the system. associate or dissociate okay the system uh, as we know that the work done is nothing but the minus delta u and this minus delta u it means u final minus u initial we have written already which is u initial minus u final you have to remember this formula okay now the example this will give you the answer example this is okay 2 coulomb and minus 3 coulomb okay minus 3 coulomb at distance 2 meter at distance 2 meter and this is a system this is a system you have to find the work done to just dissociate this system and bring this charge to coulomb at 1 meter. How much work you have to do to bring this to coulomb at 1 meter from 2 meter. Okay. Now the final system will be this like 2 coulomb minus 3 coulomb and distance remain 1 meter. So how much work? you have done to bring this charge from here to here this is the question if you can solve try to solve my dear student simply you have to find both the potential energy and that the potential energy difference will give you the work done okay my dear student so i am writing over here the answer is initial potential energy try to find out the initial potential energy was it is K, Q1, Q2, directly I can write 2 coulomb minus 3 coulomb, it is minus 6 divided by 2 square, it is 4 joule and U final. Now K times again 2 times 3 minus 6, but the distance is now 1 meter a square. Sorry, K, Q1, Q2, R, I think no? it is. 2 and here 1 itself okay so it is minus 3k joule u initial and u final minus 6k joule so the work done u initial minus u final How much it is it is 3k joule and 3k joule positive it means work is done by the system of course 
in the system this charge is full there is positive charge which shows the positive 3 k joule in exam if the questions are coming in this way you will put the numerical value 9 times 10 power 9 okay and joule you can calculate in uh, same way if you understand try to solve this question I'm giving you this will be your okay homework two column one column and minus three column as a simple question one so I'm giving you minus 2 coulomb minus 8 coulomb at 2 meter you have to dissociate this charge the system has to bring this minus 2 coulomb at 1 meter okay now a student if you are finding the potential energy between number of charges then be bear in your mind if you are having three charges in this way q1 q2 and q3 as r1 r2 r3 so the potential energy you have to write the terms of potential energy how many terms will be there here the potential energy and you know? concept of potential energy try to focus over here okay In this system we don't have energy okay we don't have work from infinity we are bringing our test charge q1 whether in this system we are having the potential energy answer is no we have potential only not the potential energy because there is no any other charge and for that uh, presence of charge against that electrostatic field it has to do the work okay so there is no charge so there will be potential if you again bring a charge it is q2 at distance r now there will be potential or potential energy exactly there will be the potential energy and then you will write here the u between 1 and 2 as k q1 q2 by r am i right yes now again if suppose another charge is bring at this point separated by the same distance r and r now this is q3 then what will be the amount of work done as this charge was present there was potential as this charge bring q2 this q2 has to do the work against the field of q1 but as this q3 is to bring it has to do the work against the field of q1 and q2 both okay in this space there was uh, already potential energy how much it was this one but due to bringing this q3 new two terms will be added in this potential energy because energy neither create nor destroy so this will be uh, remain at that place in this system and the new two terms because it has to do the work against this field and this field also about against the field of discharge and discharge also so the new two terms will be added and the net potential will be u 1 2 that is the potential energy between 1 and 2 potential energy between 3 and 1 and potential energy between 3 and 2 okay now this is the total energy in the same way you have to solve such type of question for example if you will solve this question the total term will be how much directly i'm writing you my dear student the u total will be k q1 q1 q2 by r plus k q2 q3 by r plus k q3 q1 by r okay and this will be the total energy okay my dear students so this is all about the today lecture in next lecture we will study
few more concepts of potential energy and potential but uh, the main topic of next lecture will be the relation between electric potential and electric field okay that will be the field gradient and potential gradient thank you my dear students